In this video, we're gonna deconstruct an evergreen webinar funnel. Hi, my name is Hanne from Thrive Teams, and this is Funnel Friday, where we analyze existing marketing funnels and show you how you can deploy them and use them in your own online business using Thrive Teams tools. Now, today we are looking at Amy Porterfield's evergreen marketing funnel. This type of funnel is perfect if you are selling an online course. This really allows you to show your expertise, to show your teaching style, and then people can sign up. But you can also use this funnel for other products. We have done webinars to sell our software, for example, and it really works as long as you make sure that you give value upfront in your webinar and don't make it a sales pitch fest. Now, as you can see, this is a landing page for what she calls her masterclass. And here you can see reserve my seat. So this is the first call to action. What's really nice about this page is first of all, the design. It's really nicely designed and it just works because first of all, she has the title above the fault, really clear title, three simple and powerful ways to kickstart your email list. And then the call to action is reserve my seat. So you immediately understand what's going on there. Then the other elements on the page is what you will learn. So she breaks down a little bit more what's going on. Then there is a testimonial, which is always good for social proof, because remember, even when you're asking people to sign up, you're asking them to give you something. And so you want to make sure to show them that they will get value out of this freebie you're offering. She tells you who this is for. So you must attend if you have this kind of things. Then we have a little section about Amy herself. And finally, some more an explanation about who she's about, how she came to teach this. And again, another call to action, which is smart because if someone goes to the bottom of the page, you really want to make sure that they have an easy way to sign up. So here we have this other link and then we just have uh, the disclaimer because she is sending paid traffic to this page. So you want to make sure that you're in, um, in accordance with Facebook regulation and so on. Now let's see what happens when we click on the reserve my seat button. So here you can see immediately free masterclass. So again, super clear what you're signing up for, and then you can select a date. Now, as you can see here, it's a uh, 4 10 PM currently, and you can see that I can start the webinar at 4 15. So again, this is really smart because the people who are invested, who want to watch the webinar immediately, who have time, they can just sign up and get started with this. Now there's one thing that I want to say about evergreen webinars. First of all, Please don't make it look like it's a real webinar. People are not stupid anymore. They know what evergreen webinars are. And so you want to make sure that you make it very clear that this is a recording and here Amy is actually doing a really good job because calling it a masterclass, she's not calling this a live webinar, right? So it is pretty clear that this is actually a recording that you're getting. Now, the second thing about evergreen webinars is that they are quite difficult to set up in the sense that you do need a lot of tools and those tools can get really expensive. So what I want to focus on here or what I want to make clear in this uh, funnel video is that you can use the exact same techniques and the exact same funnel but have a single recording instead of having to do this with an evergreen webinar. The tool that Amy is using here is easy webinar. And when you go to the easy webinar sales page, you can see that it's a minimum of $78 a month. Now that might not be the budget that you are currently willing to spend on this funnel in your business. So now let's see what happens when we sign up, shall we? So after signing up, we see this page, which I think is really interesting, a really interesting touch because it says you're almost done, Hannah. So it takes the first name that I just gave in the opt-in form. And then she's asking one reason why you waited to start growing your email list. So basically she's trying to figure out the pain point that people had with building an email list, which is super valuable. Having this information will definitely help her hone in her marketing message, her ads, and then also why not she can probably 
probably see if somebody buys who which one of the people had a certain problem and then those are the people that resonate most with her course because let's be honest we all know that this is not just a free webinar but that this is gonna lead into a sale and a sale for one of her courses so as you can see here it's just very simple uh, multiple choice and then when you click on let's do this we go to another page which tells us to check our email now we can also join um, a facebook group and then we have some uh, interesting podcasts to listen to which are related to the list building now let's see what happens in the in our email inbox all right, so after a couple of minutes, I received this message saying, yes, just one more quick thing. And in here we can find a workbook. So this is a PDF. And then we also have um, the link to join the training. Now the PDF is designed in the same way as the landing page. So again, a lot of attention to detail and you can see that this is a very professional funnel. And then it seems like it's mainly uh, to take notes. So it is something that um, will up the value of the masterclass a bit and make sure that people can follow along and maybe write down their ideas and so on. Now, to be honest, I don't know how many people actually still print out these type of workbooks. So I personally don't find them very helpful, but I do agree that it feels good to receive this kind of uh, workbook. Now, I would probably have preferred receiving a recap rather than a book with just um, empty lines and where you have to write down your own biggest takeaways. But that's just my own personal preference. Now then with uh, the webinar, we can see that here will be starting soon. So we still have to wait. Again, I think that this is one of the disadvantages of uh, the Evergreen webinar series is that basically we are asking people who really want to see the training who are interested in waiting and six minutes when you have um, things to do and places to be is a really long time. So this might be long enough to actually lose people who will then never watch the masterclass. And in the end, the idea is to get as many people as possible to watch the masterclass because that is where she will bring all her value and then also where she will have the opportunity to pitch her online course. So that's why I would definitely test if you want to go down this evergreen webinar road, test it against um, an, a training that is immediately available. I'll, I'll just wait for a little bit and then show you what this page looks like in about six minutes. All right, we're in. And as you can see, this is uh, the easy webinar interface and you can send questions below. So again, what I think is really nice here is that she doesn't make it look like a real life webinar. There's no fake chat going on or any of that, but you can still ask your questions, which could be really helpful. And then the support team can get back to you. Now, I think this masterclass goes on for about one hour and the product that she pitches is the List Builders Society. Now, <laughs> I already received the email and this is the sales page. So as you can see, we have this sales page that is in the same style as the opt-in page. And then in the end, let's have a look. Um, where's our pricing page or pricing elements? All right, right here. So she is pitching a product that is either 397 paid in full or a three monthly payments of 153. And this is not a dripped course. This is not a start at a certain time. This is a course that is actually available all around. Now, because I already signed up to this a couple of days ago, I know that the email follow-up game is tight. <laughs> you get a lot of emails following up with a replay of the webinar and then each time with a link, with testimonials, with everything to promote this course. Now let's quickly recap this funnel. First of all, we had a sign up page from the sign up page. We had a button that showed a light box on that light box. We could pick the date and the time for the webinar. 
and then sign up with the first name and the email. The next page was a page that asked us one question, one multiple choice question, and then we had a confirmation page. From there, we went to the email follow-up sequence, and in the email, we had a link that went to the webinar page. Now, on the webinar page, after a certain amount of time, the button for the course appears, and we also get email follow-ups for the sales page, and then we also get get replay links to watch the masterclass again. What do you think of this funnel? Are you going to use it in your business? Do you already have a funnel like this set up? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, check out the video that shows you how to set up this funnel step-by-step -step using Thrive Team's tools.